Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 508. I'm your host, Roman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is concept and 3D models for Opaline, Sparky, and various Make Your Marks object release. Um, woof, my new setup is not giving me um, hand room stuff. Anyway. Uh, concept art has started arriving for Make Your Mark, and we uh, and we begin with a set of 3D artist Joel Ford over on Artisan. I think that's how you call it. He has released both Sparky and Opaline, along with various objects and props used in the series. Head over here to see them in spinny animated version so you can see all the angles <clears throat> all right right let's go ahead see um this news has been along for a while i noticed that it took me a month to record but yeah you know i'm, I'm just gonna skip that near the end <clears throat> so anywho um here it is in glorious Spinny animation, wow wow, and um, yep, I'm just gonna click here, and so uh, the concept art is pretty cool, like what he does is take, I, w I won't say take inspiration, but um, take concept arts from the show, like the cartoon, and see what they do in the 2D form and he animates it in 3D and so on uh, for colors and whatnot. So that's Opaline, whatever. Uh, but for Sparky here, oh boy, that name's Sparky. Ooh, mm, cool. Anyway, um, so here's Sparky and how he looks. Uh, inspiration from real life uh, babies with gum reference. Uh, stating here or what we can, what you call this, uh, summarize that this is the reference for how baby gums look like and so on. And uh, on this picture here, we see Sparky with one tooth. So this is kind of cool. This is really kind of cool if you're into the whole behind the scenes kind of thing with animations and whatnot. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a go, uh, go, go see and study the ways of the arts. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. And the next one is New Princess uh, page, <coughs> Pageantry, yes. Why did I have to see here before this mm, pageantry expansion announced for Adventures in Equestria deck building game? Uh, for all you keeping up with the surprisingly deep My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria deck building game, a new expansion has just been announced and open, uh, open up for pre-orders. Celestia and Luna get brand new character cards along with Shining Armor and Cadence. Along with that, you can expect new Princess Power interactions between uh, Caddy and Shiny, festivals and more. Uh, get the full breakdown and specific number of each below along with more pictures. All right. Uh, I, I think this is the back of the box, front of the box, whatever. Um, mm. Oh, the press release. <clears throat> this is going to be fun. Whew, all right, uh, pre-order now for a March 2023 release. For a limited time, orders will, sorry, um, for a limited time orders, will receive the My Little Pony deck building game, Me Meeple Pack number four for free. The My Little Pony deck building game Meeple Pack number 4 contains 4 wooden meeples, Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and Shining Armor. The, the My Little Pony deck building game Meeple Pack 4 will be added to your cart for free when ordering the My Little, mm, sorry, the Princess Pageantry expansion. Uh, let's give a royal welcome, Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and Shining Armor. Join the roster of playable characters in My Little Pony Adventures in Equestria. This character will be uh, will bring new mechanics and abilities befitting of their status to the game. 
along with new locations and challenges to overcome. <coughs> Expansions requires uh, the My Little Pony uh, Adventure Scene because your deck building game. Uh, features Princess Theus, Princess Cadence, Princess Luna, Princess sorry, Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and the Heroic Shining Armor. Use Princess Power, Princess Celestia, and Luna can trigger additional abilities. Power up couple, Princess Cadence, and Shining Armor have uh, extra starting cards that work on each other's turn. Alternate festival using card, card traits to earn useful gifts. <clears throat> it's been a while since I uh, take a look see but uh, let's see Ooh, this is all over the place. Um, con content summary over 20, uh, 25 oversized cards, character changelings, hurdles and festivals, 81 standard cards, adventures, adventure decks, starter situation, locations and reference. For standees, 23 tokens, those include or those contains give celestia cutie marks to luna cutie marks uh, at a glance number of players one to four for each 14 and up play time 75 minutes that will be an hour and a given um an hour 15 probably a uh, game type deck building game expansion all right then so uh did i press yes this um Yep, th this is what we um, read before. Uh, character cards, hurdle, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> 45 to 90 minutes, for two players. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, uh, I I'm guessing these are the character cards. These are the festivals. These are the... Another character? Character cards? Hmm. Um, let's see. Starting side. You may use a command ability if you do... Flip this card. Oh, flip, flip. Um, yeah. I, okay. To be honest with you guys at home, um, I haven't really gotten a chance to get my hand on the game and try to play it. But from my personal experience with playing with deck building games, uh, they're, <clears throat> they're kind of fun. They're, they're a fun experience to get into um, and it, it it all depends with what game or what, what the game mechanic is like and what game you're playing because um, I've I'm trying to remember and uh, I think I played a game called Tanto Kore uh, I really forgot what the game mechanic is like um, but it's a deck building game where you get certain type of cards put it in your hand and you play the game uh, and then you get uh, and then I think I've seen Resident, the, the Resident Evil board game, deck building game in action uh, that was fun too but <clears throat> in all honesty it's it's uh, how is this uh, deck building games are usually catered to or if, in my personal opinion it's kind of situational how or where you play it with or person you play it with because for all the titles I just mentioned if you're not interested in the branding or IP international uh, intellectual property then you're not gonna play it for me I am very interested in trying this out but the problem is I live in a place where the brony population has dwindled down very bad. Like, I know they're out there, but there's no <clears throat> meetups, gatherings, or whatever it is. So, to experience this deck building game is non-existent. Like, if I I can buy this, like literally, I can buy this, but I got no one, I got no one to play this with. So, I'll be just getting this and say. Hey guys, you want to play a game? No one? Okay. So yeah, that, that kind of sucks. <clears throat> but on the upside, it seems that the deck building game is going strong for uh, River... Renegade Games, yes. For Renegade Games. So, you know, honestly, what 
how, how do I remedy this? Okay, um, in all honesty, I would like to see a digital version of the game. Uh, have it on Steam and make it online, uh, offline, online, no, off, offline would, wouldn't really do that well because you, you need to see your hand. But anyway, um, uh, make it online enable so you can play with players all around the world. <coughs> uh, for example, um, let's just say that, hey, um, the crew, uh, that would be me, Silver, Terra, and Jacob, have the game. We play it for one round, basically a, record, a session's recording, and just try to play the game and just have fun with it and upload it for content. But the thing is, each, every one of us comes from four different locations. Uh, me from Malaysia, Terra is from the Canada, Silver is from the US, and Jacob is from... Slovakia, something like that, if I remember right. So, four different, ooh, <laughs> sorry, four different locations and four different time zones, but playing one awesome game. So, yeah, that uh, I do hope that there's an official version. And all in all honesty, I I, I bet the game is already on um, tabletop simulator. I, I feel that. <laughs> <coughs> I feel that might be the case. The game is already online there and people are experiencing a lot of fun, but what I'm asking for is an official nice version of it, you know? But anywho, um, let's move on to the next news. And next news is, well, this, this, this is pretty simple. Oh, my little pony, tell <coughs> Oh, I'm choking, give a second. Oh, <coughs> where was I? All right, my little pony, why am I OCD today? My Little Pony, Tell Your Tales, hitting to Netflix on March 27th. Awesomeness. Sorry. Alrighty then, so, what can I say? What, what, what can I say? This is going to be fun for me because um, one of the few things that I've talked about before was the the, the way that uh, the Pony YouTube kind of aggregates or kind of playlist their, what you call this, uh, kind of playlist their um, shows because it's kind of hard to check it out. Numbers sometimes are interspliced with music videos and so on, blah, 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 blah. So with this one, you're going to get just the pure number episodes, uh, one to whatever it is right now they're on. Uh, they're on. So watching it through will be easy so i this is a bonus for me this this is a bonus for me because i can just sit down uh take a crack at uh tell your tales and see it uh episode by episode in in its proper what you might call this in its proper um watch numbering uh, i forgot <clears throat> but still uh, episode order yes so i can just Watch it there without any in-betweens, like music videos or whatnot. <clears throat> so that's a bonus for me. So yeah, um, nothing more to add. So let's move on to the last news. Whew, this is going to be fun. A uh, new Tell Your Tales Volume 3 soundtrack open, sorry, album on Spotify. Hasbro has apparently released another collection of songs from My Little Pony Tell Your Tale. Usually this one is exclusive on Spotify and has listed release date for February 3rd, even though it wasn't available until today. Not true because <laughs> I'm recording this super late. Yes, uh, let's see. Um, no, no, no. The album is also noticeably faded. Not sure if the album was accidentally intended to be released this way. Only one of the three songs, It Gonna Wait, has been used in an episode so far. Far for the other two, uh, this album is their first appearance. Uh, this includes songs, uh, sorry, the included songs are Don't Lose Your Groove, performed by JJ Gerber and Hitch, and 
I'm gonna not say names now. Ain't gonna wait. Opaline. So, yes. Do YouTube re upload below? <laughs> nope. Nope. That's gone. Uh, Papa Hasbro ain't liking that, yo. <laughs> it's an inclusive for a reason. <clears throat> so, anywho, um, gotta get back on track. <clears throat> This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Uh, previously, what happened? Sorry, previously with Gen Four. Ooh, sorry about that. Ooh, I I should really. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm keeping looking here, this is the microphone for the camera, and I have a. I have it on a what you call this, mic stand, and it's onto the side. But I'm moving my hands, and it's kind of bothering me. So I'm gonna try and move it this table and see how uh, this is not probably the best time for me to do crap like this also i have my magic deck that i built and okay you guys are not interested in that all right let's see if this chaos is going to be awesome because i am smart okay let's let's move a few things a bit here and there. Okay, okay, give me a second, give me a second. This is gonna work, this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Um, is it working? I don't know. Oh no, cables are getting pinched. Okay, mm. It feels like it might be working. I don't know. Let's... I guess that's the max it can go because if not... Yeah, because because the money just looking the way. But okay, let's 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 tighten this. Let's tighten this. Okay. Um, I can move this from left to right. Okay. 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 It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Woo! Boy, I feel I feel awesome today. Oh, I hope that they didn't do some weird things. Okay, I I can move this up a bit, and I can move this to the side. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think this can work. I think so. Um, hands, you're good. You're good. All right, okay, cool. All right, then. <clears throat> Where was I? <clears throat> Spotify, yes. So one of the few things that... Um, why am I... <laughs> don't care. So anyway, one of the few things that uh, G4 did was um, wait for the series to... Not really end. Kind of end. Like... Um, we, uh, for season one, we had uh, for for the free sorry for the first album we had one of the two songs combined into one album. Uh, things are a bit fuzzy in my head. I, I don't remember if that's true or not. Uh, so uh, that came out. We had a album with all of season one and a bit of season two, if I remember right. And then uh, there's a second album where I think it included all of season two song, which is kind of awesome. And then we move on to three and four and there's a few albums there like it was really it was really awesome uh there were a lot of songs there were a lot of albums uh not really coherent uh naming patterns and whatnot but still they had sorry there was a lot of pony songs that uh was available back in the days and back in the days uh we didn't really had the maybe we do it was just me but what, what I personally did was, uh, album came out, go buy it on uh, Apple Music, yeah, Apple Music, and had the songs on my iPhone. Uh, I, I'm currently writing on an iPhone. So, <clears throat> um, buy the album, own it there, so awesome, blah, blah, blah. But nowadays, with how um, Hasbro is... Uh, doing stuff with uh, G5, it seems that they kind of sh ooh, um, they, they kind of shift strategies where instead of doing a whole compilation album, like having a so having an album with 12 songs, 13 songs, whatever, uh, they, they instead of doing uh, the quick thing where, okay, uh, we have this uh, album with three songs and it's exclusive to spotify go because 
Um, we're not going to put stuff on YouTube Music. I don't know why, because I personally use YouTube Music, and you're probably at home thinking, Norman, why would you do that? Uh, Spotify is much better. That is true, fellow users. Probably it's true. I personally haven't used Spotify, so I cannot attest to that. But the only reason why I'm YouTube, uh, the only reason why I'm using YouTube Music is because I'm paying premium for the normal YouTube. So no ads. Uh, I can watch videos uh, while turning off the screen, so getting audios and whatnot. So basically, what I'm saying is that I'm already paying for YouTube Premium, and as an added bonus, I get YouTube Music. F Honestly, I haven't used YouTube Music before uh, going premium, so I got no idea how it works. But the idea is that since I'm already paying for this, this is an added bonus, so why not just use it, right? So yeah, I've been using that a lot. And the idea of not having Pony songs officially on YouTube Music makes me scratch my head and ask, why not? Why? And I, I probably they've <clears throat> probably Spotify paid Hasbro a lot of money to say to tell them that hey, make this album exclusive for us and not on anywhere else. I don't think you can buy it even on um, iTunes or whatnot. You know, I'm gonna go for my. So, no, I don't think I can. Oh, God. It's been so long. No. Yeah. Do, do, I, do I even have YouTube News? iTunes. iTunes Store. Okay. Give me a second, folks. I am very old for this one. Okay, continue. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I now remember how to do this. Okay, My Little Pony, let's see, uh, oh, that is fascinating, Tell Your Tail, Make Your Mark, uh, oh, that is, that is, Sorry, um, I'm just taking a look see here, and a lot of the songs here are not available. Okay, that's not true. Um, like there's only "Tell Your Tale" Volume One, and um, some. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna read through what I see here. So, okay, there's "Tell Your Tale" Volume One, "My Little Pony: A New Generation" original movie. Original motion picture. It seems that, uh, yeah, six songs, whatever. Uh, glowing, glowing up. Uh, so that that's a single. Um, some random artist. Uh, a, a Chinese My Little Pony song. Uh, Equestria Girls Legends of Ever Free, and My Little Pony. Uh, sorry, Friendship is Music Song of Ponyville. And yeah, th those are the songs that are available on the, what you call this, uh, available on the iTunes store? Huh. And just scrolling through, um, podcast episodes, uh, boy, um, <clears throat> podcast, podcast. Um, no, I don't see mine here. Oh, no. I am morally... <laughs> I am morally sad. Oh, no. Okay, I'm just scrolling down. Just an ego check. Sorry, folks. <coughs> yep. Not even in the top list. I, I are sad. <laughs> That's my ego. That's my, that, that. That is my ego going down the drain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vanity check. Obviously, if I type my own podcast name, I'm gonna find it. You idiot. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Anywho. Um. <clears throat> where was I again? Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, it seems that 
or most of the newer pony musics or my little pony music is on spotify now uh they used to have a bunch of them appear on uh, apple music and youtube but somehow uh they just took it down and pump it up all on uh spotify and if i were to just check out spotify for a bit like this and click on my little pony yeah you, you get the whole thing like uh let's go for album and let's go for show all <clears throat> so you, you you get a lot of content here like wow you, you have a lot and this is including um what you call this uh foreign language uh let's see in this one this one is spanish version uh this one is portuguese brazil portuguese uh, and then you have Pol Pol Polish version, Polish, uh, Italian, and, and and so on. You you get the general idea. So there is a lot here, and yeah, I remember I, I remember buying this one on iTunes. It's not there anymore. Um, what was uh this one? This this one was on iTunes. Friendship Yeah, yeah, this one was on iTunes, and so on. So. This 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 raises a question it's like why why is it not there and what happened to volume two did we miss volume two I'm just checking because there's a volume one there should be a volume two no maybe if I click on it and scroll down there's a volume two somewhere no. Uh boy, but see, um, I, I, volume three is out there too, huh? Oh, you know what? Let, let's see, let's see if volume three is there too. Uh, no, odd. But, but, but anywho, um, that's the news for this week, and like I mentioned before, <coughs> <sighs> that music thing really bothered me a lot, man. Like. Not because of the podcasting, but it's just that. Why would they take it down? What? Why? Why? Huh? Because I I bought the album before. I I think I bought all of the My Little Pony albums. So that's awesome. By the way, did you remember when I told you that my uh, art disc full of pony music was destroyed by time? Yep. <coughs> All gone, by the way. So yeah, that was fun. <sighs> but anywho, um let's let's move on to the next topic and next topic is what have I been doing my week? As per usual, um it's been a month since I haven't done a new show, which is kind of disturbing. But like I mentioned before to you guys way back when is that I'll report on news if there's three new stories to talk about and yeah that's what i've been doing but i i've noticed that sometimes that then there's thing sometimes i notice that that ain't seems to be working so i'm gonna change things up a bit i'm gonna change things up a bit so starting from now or starting on the next episode uh, 509 i'll be i'll try to at least do an episode a month. I'll try to do an episode a month if there's nothing uh, more to report, like uh, if there's two news or so on, or even one news. So I I'll try and do an episode a month. If there's a bunch of news, I'll probably start in two episodes a month and so on. I mean, I, I would really love to do the whole month of podcast, but if there's nothing for me to work with, I, I can just force it, man. So, yeah, um, starting from now, an episode a month until I get flooded with news. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, anyway, um, let's move on to what I've been doing my week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, besides D&D and Magic the Gathering, I played a new game called Hi-Fi Rush. That was fun. I, have I? No, I, I don't. Yeah. So I played a game called Hi-Fi Rush. It's a 
action adventure no um character action rhythm game where you play as the protagonist named Chai. He has a robot arm and you hit things to the beat. And it's really fascinating in terms of how it tries to um, stand out from the crowd of character actions like Devil May Cry, Bayonetta and the like. So it is really fun. <clears throat> Um, one of the few personal problems I have is that the game uses Xbox um, iconography. And you're probably at home thinking, what's the problem with that? That's not hard. And for me personally, there's one of two things. I've grown up with a PlayStation. I'm used to the PlayStation layout. Square is on the left side sorry yeah left side triangles on the top circles on the right and axis on the bottom so yeah I, i'm used to that and then when you go for uh, sorry on top of that i bought some controllers um, for example i bought the Gilly kit king kong 2 pro controller so uh this one uh, uh yeah okay cool can you see it no the Whatever, um, this one has the ABXY, and you're probably thinking, Xbox use ABXY, but they switch. So, um, Xbox A is at the bottom, while the B is at the right. So, for me to suddenly think, oh, um, what is A? Look at Joypad, oh, A is there, press A button. On controller does not match with screen and oh character dies ah crap so <clears throat> you're probably thinking memorize stuff don't 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 be don't be a baby I I guess I, I'll try but um, long before uh, long ago I, I got <laughs> Xbox one controller and you're thinking at home you idiot then use it and Okay, uh, one of two. <laughs> There's always something with me. <laughs> so, <coughs> um, so yes, um, I've been using it now. But previously, I've been using it with wired. And one of the few common annoyance that happened with me while playing with the controller wired is that it sometimes stumbles upon disconnects like it sometimes disconnects in the middle of a game and suddenly I, my character doesn't move like I'm just imagine playing demon souls or sorry, dark souls and suddenly playing like oh no suddenly my character doesn't move oh no I get killed by a big giant monster and like damn it the controller the controller decides to crap out on me great you 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 piece of mm. and then I went on a bit and used the cables and whatnot and then I thought about myself like couldn't I just buy a dongle a Bluetooth dongle to connect to the controllers and whatnot and so I did I got myself <clears throat> the 8 bit do something 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 wireless something so um long story short what this does is it lets the it lets your computer connect to your uh, controllers uh, it works for playstation uh, switch nintendo switch controllers and xbox one con xbox one and xbox one, one series like whatever uh controllers so playstation sony uh sony sony playstation microsoft xbox and nintendo switch controllers so yeah uh, those works they're awesome and uh Obviously, you, if you have an 8-bit do controller, you can do more stuff with it. You can tweak the settings. You can do you can do a lot of more stuff. That, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, other than that, yeah. Um, now when I'm playing games, I'll I, I tend to use the Xbox One controller more. And sometimes when I'm fancy, I'll use this. So yay! And you're thinking, what about the PlayStation? It's there. It, it's it's just there. 
don't don't even look at it. <laughs> so yeah. Um. So yeah, I, I guess that's what I've been doing, playing games and having um, a bit of fun with that. So high five rush is fun. Um, what else have I been playing? Um, uh, technically nothing much. Been well, watch a movie. Um, there's a few, but I think one of the newer ones I remember is watching Ant Man, Quantumania, <coughs> and I'm not sure if this thing is drooping. You know, I'll I'll fix it later. I'll fix it later. So anywho, um, I've watched Ant Man, Quantumania, sorry, Ant Man and the Wasp in Quantumania, and it was an entertaining movie. I had fun watching it. It was okay, but there's always this thing lingering in the back of my mind when I watched it. Like, is this movie good? I mean, it's entertaining. I give you that, but was it good? The friend, sorry, my friend who watched it with me said it was good. Uh, my Magic Gathering playgroup said it was good. It was better than Wakanda Forever, and. I'm here sitting and thinking like, was it? I mean, I had fun watching it, but there's this lingering thing in the back of my mind where it's I where, where I thought was something was off. Like uh, things were. I don't want to say that things were not explained well. Sorry, uh, not explained well, but it was just something was <coughs> nagging at me. Um, one of the few issues. Or one of the few things I um, got into my head was, wait, how does uh, who, okay who this guy this this person the character called Kang his name is Kang the Conqueror all right so what else like well, that's that's about it and then like uh, when I remember the Loki uh, his name was Kang uh, the one who stands something like that I forgot. That's the thing, like, I, I don't really understand or remember, sorry, I, I don't really understand how this universe works with its characters because um, I've, uh, you, you know that uh, time when you just sit on YouTube checking out um, Marvel stuff just to kind of get certain aspects of the character and Kang, Kang he, Kang goes by the name Kang the Conqueror, like he is just that there's no uh, Kang the unbeatable or Kang the person who washes dishes and so on. So there, there's there's nothing to that effect, or it didn't really portray. Sorry, uh, it didn't really portray that to me. Where uh, Kang has multiple personal. There's multiple Kangs and there's multiple what you call this uh, versions or name naming of him. I always thought that okay, there's multiple versions of Kangs on. They're all. Kang the Conquerors. <clears throat> There's no Kang, the person that owes me money, and so on. So I'm just thinking like, oh, okay, there's Kang, so he's the Conqueror, all right. Why? Like, that's, that's what I was thinking, like, does it make a difference and whatnot? I mean, what? So that, that's my personal question and whatnot, and, and so on, but once... um. Once the Americans or the yeah Americans came, uh, watching and uh, they watched it and reviewed it and whatnot. Um, some say that it was kind of mid, like it was a it was in between, like it was really that awesome. And I'm thinking, oh, am I justified? Am I right? And you know, honestly, I got no idea because I don't know. To me, this was just an in-between movie to get to the setup of the bigger picture. That's how I feel. But I'm just going to drop that off there. Uh, one of the few fun factors is that when I watch the movie, I watch it in 4DX. What that means is you sit on a chair, a, a movie seat, you watch the movie, and when there's something amazing happening on the screen, the chair moves, wind blows into your face, the back of your neck, and somebody punches you in the gut. <laughs> Not literally. It was kind of a massage chair thing, but that happened, so it was kind of cool. 
Uh, I watched it at 12 in the midnight, midnight screening. So yeah, <clears throat> it was, it was stupid entertaining. So my opinion here is skewed. Even though if the movie was mid, I had an awesome time because my chair moved. <laughs> but would have, but would really love to see. Uh, we would, sorry, we would have really loved to experience that movie in Avatar because the water thing, like ah, water in the face. <laughs> oh boy, but yeah. Um, uh, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. So anyway, um, I've been babbling for too long now. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. <clears throat> so anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at dimbsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter, so the Twitter account is at DMBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and also Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on Convive.com. links are in the show notes. Um, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review, discussion, podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank you, Jacob, Lucky Knight, Let's Talk Like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya.